Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. This is the second episode of Tatami Galaxy. Now, uh, I have to say, I loved, I really, really, really loved the first episode. It was so unique and I, I don't know, like it, it was something really special and something really unique. And I'm really glad I started like reacting to this show. And also like the previous, like, you know, the video, I like, reacted to a version which did not have the opening and the ending, like when everything was done, I realized that and that's why like uh, I could not see the opening and the ending and it was like weird the whole video was I had to like do like you know like kind of edit it the way it should be uh, like I had no reactions during the opening time so like I'm reacting to the correct version of the video now this is episode number two and I'm guessing I'm and this this has the opening and the ending I think so like it'll be my first time reacting to the opening and the ending as well so I'm looking forward to that and uh, yeah so the first episode um <coughs> when the like you know when the when the show started i was overwhelmed i was thinking like oh my god will i be able to keep up thankfully i was able to and i hope i am like you know able to keep up with this episode as well because obviously this is a timer reaction i cannot pause i either have to like i, I yeah i have to like if i don't get some portion i'll have to wait until the reaction ends and then have to check it out so that thing so i'll try my best to understand everything but if something misses me i might have to like like backtrack after the uh, like video ends you know to understand it properly and i really hope i like you know am able to keep up with the subtitles and because of that because i'll be concentrating on the subtitles and everything i might talk a bit less so i'll definitely like discuss about everything after it ends up during the discussion portion so yeah so first episode was amazing it was like a god was there he was saying like to the main character that there's this guy uh what was his name uh ozu i think yeah uh, and akashi there was this girl like uh like there's like a thing going to happen like you know like you'll be matched like you know you'll be matched so who should i match her with you or ozu and by the end of it like the main character says that you match her with me and like uh like and then something weird happens like he like falls down into the river but it like reverses let's see what that is about i'm quite curious so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with the second episode of tatami galaxy all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, let's get ready. Oh, what is this? Ozu. What's he doing? Is he shoplifting or something? Fix on the weekend. He's lazy and a devil. <laughs> wow, also he's talented. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, he'll un like notice. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Sophisticated love. What the? Oh, this is opening. Let's. Oh, this is. Okay, there are a few characters uh, of, like, oh yeah, there are uh, more characters. <laughs> There's a horse as well. <laughs> okay, this is quite, like, you know, catchy.
Okay, that was really good. Oh, Madhouse animated this. Damn, I did not expect that. That is well. Sparkling gold. <laughs> oh! Damn. <laughs> I needed beyond redemption. Sincerity versus authority. Oh, this is Jogasaki Senpai. So he's a. Whoa. Boss. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, he's dying. Someone save him. <laughs> oh! What you guys were thinking? What the hell? <laughs> a person ET. Wait, one thing is different. Like he went to the tennis club, didn't he? What is happening? Like in the previous episode, it was a tennis club, and in this, like he met with also in the. Is this some kind of parallel world thing happening or something? Uh, I think there's some kind of parallel like world stuff happening. I think so. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sentimental move and man. Whoa! Oh, damn. <laughs> Again, I actually laughed. Oh, damn, that's interesting. Oh. Yo, Johan. Oh, damn, that's the shame. Will you follow me? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. New romance film, but oh. Oh God. Damn. <sighs> oh. Public is finicky. I want recognition now. <laughs> wow. Wow, Ozu. Yeah, exactly. Deja vu!
Okay. <laughs> Why do you haunt me so? Okay. <laughs> we also had this conversation as well. Okay. He's in his eighth year. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> what? Marks for the... What the? Oh my god. Junkie. <laughs> what? Okay, let's hear it. Destroy the circle. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Oh, okay. And <laughs> eighteen. <laughs> he got inside. Major. Villain's role. Okay. Wait, this guy is a god, isn't it? Oh, personal attack film. <laughs> Damn. No! <laughs> Damn. That was a god, wasn't he? Like, with the chin? Old woman who... The for fortune teller lady again. <laughs> okay. Um, the same thing, like we had this conversation in the previous episode as well. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> Okay, that's a real important, you know, line that she said, like, you should change it, otherwise you'll walk the same path again. Damn. Is he really, like, like, right, like, sitting on a throne? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. He's like, I'll destroy him. 
It was renewed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's this document? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Akashi was also there. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, what do you do? Okay. So she's in the same, like, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Good answer. Same thing that happened in the previous. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, can he do this now that Akash is involved in this? Let's see. Alexander. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. How did they even get this? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh oh Oh. <laughs> oh my god oh my god it's over his his run guys run <laughs> okay. Damn. Yeah, Akashi's here. 
Iya. Found it interesting. Iya. Entertainment. Hmm. Oh, they made a promise in this, like you know, here as well. Do I look like a fool to you? <laughs> hmm. I don't think this is how you should do it, you know? Like... Oh, damn, the same... Yeah. Oh. That thing, the uh, Akashi's. What's that, the name of that? That's Kushi Toy. Oh. The bot again. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> the same scene. Yeah. Mochiguman. <laughs> yes. So that was this the promise here in this, you know? Yeah. So So these are like the recurring themes. It's dangling in front of your eyes. And the promise as well. Okay. Bardman. No, <laughs> Osu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh it's reversing again this is amazing i really love the way they're doing this okay so okay let's watch the ending song first oh these are like tatami floors isn't it So Madhouse animated this. That's something new. I do not know that.
Wow. Is that the end? Yeah. Alright, this was the second episode of Tatami Galaxy. Now, you know, at the beginning, I really did not catch what's happening. Like, you know, when he suddenly, like, they were saying that, okay, like, um, like, I decided to join, uh, like, a club. And, like, when I went to, like, you know, uh, like, I would, I thought that I would spend a really, like, a happy, like, you know, uh, like, time. So, interacting with, like, you know, different people, like, you know, uh, like, all of these kind of the, the things that people do in uh like it's a high school or it's a college i think i don't know but yeah as he was saying i was thinking oh he's going to say i like joined the tennis club i was not understanding why they're like repeating this and i thought that the, the, and then they suddenly said that i joined the movie club i was like okay movie club so like I, I, at that moment i was thinking did he join another club alongside the tennis club and I was, I was thinking something like that and then they were like showing and then they went like introduced ozu i was like oh my god so this is something completely different that is happening that means like this is like a parallel world you know the whole thing with the you know in the previous episode when ozu jumped and he also jumped the whole thing reversed you know it like rolled back and so like i'm guessing this is like uh what can i say uh, unless and until like uh, the main character finds the correct path the correct way to do stuff he's going to keep reversing isn't it is like you know he's going to keep like rolling back and he will like transfer into a new parallel world or something where like different things are happening so i'm guessing in the next episode like there will be no nothing like tennis club related or nothing like a movie club related there will be something different like i'm guessing something like that and the only thing that like are keeps consistent are ozu and akashi like these two people are consistent and another thing i was quite like you know like curious as to they did not show uh, the god in this episode i think they showed the god that that the person with ozu who was like helping him uh, you know like do the whole like editing of the film uh, that was the god wasn't he but like the god did not introduce him in this episode um like in the previous episode he did to um you know uh, the main character and he said that like there's a girl and there's like ozu as well like i'm going to like we are like the matchmaking gods and everything and like all of those kind of conversations that he had with him and like nothing that sort happened in this episode and like he did not like you know think about akashi as much as he did in the previous episode the previous episode the first episode was kind of like you know uh, focused on the whole thing that like oh like will i get together with akashi or will ozu get together with akashi but this episode it was focused on like like you know like <laughs> damaging uh jogasaki senpai's reputation that was the main like target like you know like thing that this episode focused on and in the end he kind of like remembered the whole thing with the moth again that happened and that that squishy toy um that she lost and the promise that he made and another thing that keeps consistent is the promise the previous episode there's like a promise and this in this episode there's also another promise those two promises are different but it's it's a promise nevertheless so and uh the thing that she lost the toy that also is consistent and <clears throat> like just a sec one thing i'll have to check here is um the castella like i did not catch it at that moment because it went quickly here is it here it is um he comes to his house and he says the castella he says what is this um when I returned to the boarding house, someone had sloppily eaten the castella that Ozu had brought me the other day. One thing I'm curious here. The person that ate the castella in the previous episode was him himself. Didn't he? He was like kind of, you know, like clawing the castella and like putting it in his mouth and eating. So... Wait a minute. Does this room, you know, the the show is called Tatami Galaxy, isn't it? This room, it has a tatami floor, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Is this room like, you know, um, exempt 
from the whole like transferring into a different parallel dimension like this room remains the same is that it like you know like how he says that the cast castella that like also brought the previous day is someone has eaten it sloppily that was the thing that he did in the previous episode which is i'm guessing in a parallel world so if that was a parallel world and this is another parallel world why is the castella in the same way that it is now like you know as we see it in the saw it in the previous episode so <clears throat> one thing can can happen here uh maybe just maybe this room is only um like an exception to the whole the uh, world parallel world you know like changing into a different world like he is been transferred into a parallel world but the room stays the same so he got back here and he saw the cast castella in that like you know the way like someone sloppily ate it ate it and the um like the squishy toy is still hanging maybe that is it i don't know but i might be completely wrong but i think something must be the matter here you know something like unique must have been happening in this room because as we saw in the previous episode the person who ate the castella is him himself so if he transferred into a parallel world why is it in the same condition that we saw in the previous episode I don't know maybe I'm wrong but something unique must be happening here so it's just something that I thought you know because another thing that is kind of making me think like this is because the name of the show is called tatami galaxy like you know tatami and that the the room is has a tatami floor so like you know it's related to the title somehow so I'm guessing it's somehow special <laughs> I don't know like it's just something that I thought you know because everything changed you know like a lot of things changed the, a few things that did not change is the characters that is ozu and akashi they are consistent the whole thing with the moth landing on or like you know akashi's face but the place that had it happened is different and the promise that they made are different so everything is different except the room where the castella is there so maybe i don't know like it's just something i thought uh anyways so yeah <clears throat> and um so yeah this episode it was more like what can i say like him like focusing on the whole like trying to damage uh, jogasaki senpai's reputation and <laughs> like i don't know like one thing that akashi said kind of is true you know when she said that i loved liked your previous show better uh, previous movie better you know and uh like he just said like no this is just a hit and run like i won't do something like this again and he ran away and so i'm guessing this is also a wrong path he chose you know like he like decided to go along with the whole revenge not revenge but like mess with jogasaki plot uh yeah it's kind of a revenge thing so he decided to go alongside that so maybe that was the wrong answer that was the wrong path that he took as the fortune teller said that like if you take like you know make wrong uh, like this take wrong decisions again you like this will repeat like you will not get a different ending so something like that so now i think that's the main thing that's happening you know like unless and until he gets the correct choice he's going to repeat the day not day but but the whole thing that's happening he's going to just be transferred into parallel world and this is going to happen again and like he can understand a little bit of it you know when he says that uh that didn't we have this conversation before and like also says that ah no no it's nothing like it's just a deja vu um i'm really curious as to what ozu is actually because he it seems as if he knows everything you know he knows what's happening uh, he, like so i'm quite curious and he was like with the god as well so uh, in the previous episode i kind of said that maybe the god like is somehow like you know connected to him he knows what's happening he has contact with the god in this episode we see him and that was the god wasn't it like the guy who was with ozu like helping them edit the video i think that was the god especially his chin so anyway so if that was the god then like that this episode proves that he has something to do with the god because the god is like chilling with him and like you know helping him edit videos <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> and uh, uh, so yeah as like akashi was saying that i um Mm. oh no uh, okay i'll talk about that later on uh, another thing um like the whole deja vu thing now it's really like you know unique like uh, people usually have this kind of a thing like deja vu like thinking that oh maybe like i did, did i do this before like i cannot remember but i feel like i have done this before that's deja vu so it's really unique to think that 
maybe just maybe you know like something like this happened in the parallel world and our memories are somehow being you know kind of overlapping with each every like like the two things so like that's a deja vu like it's a really like um like a really what can i say unique way about thinking it like i've seen this in another uh, i think another show or another thing the whole thing with parallel world is connected to deja vu um what was it oh i think it was a visual novel i played um it was um Marvel love Alter- alternative uh, there's this whole thing with parallel like a whole thing with parallel world in that you know that and uh, visual novel as well and uh, there was this part where like it explained that like deja vu is something that you have like experienced in a parallel world like you know it's a parallel world so the person in that parallel world might have also experienced something that you are experiencing now so when that happens when the time coincides somehow like the memories kind of overlap like the memories kind of transcend like dimensions and like into a different world and you feel as if like oh like did something like this happen before no it did not happen before it happened in a parallel world so that's basically deja vu i i it's, it's a really unique way of thinking and i really liked the way like this like you know this episode also kind of brought that like he says that like oh didn't we have this conversation before and also said that nah it's just de- the that thing you know deja vu and <laughs> like yeah that was quite unique and <clears throat> Yeah, and um, also like as I was saying, like Akashi San is like uh, like the promise that he made with her. Like he he promised her to make a um a, a, what did she say like ro- romance video or something of a romantic like movie, and uh, like but he did not fulfill that. Oh, maybe uh, you know I think this is also another guess maybe the thing that is like transferring him into a parallel dimension is him not keeping the promise is that it like uh, this is another thing that the previous episode has common with this episode like he did not keep the promise that he made uh, in the previous episode as well and in this episode as well so is that how like why he is being transferred into a parallel dimension i'm just guessing that he's getting transferred into a parallel dimension it might be something completely different as well but that's the most obvious explanation that I can think of. Like, you know, him being transferred into a parallel dimension with uh, a, a parallel world, not a parallel dimension, sorry, a parallel world where like, um, like, you know, he is like, everything's the same, but the, uh, like the things that are happening is different. The um, <clears throat> things that he's experiencing is different. So maybe, just, this is another guess I'm saying, maybe just maybe that if he keeps his promise to Akashi-san, Maybe this will not happen, you know, because the two episodes has this thing in common. I'll, I'll like check like in the next episode, I'm sure I'll be more confirmed about this because if in the next episode, he also does not keep his promise. I think maybe that is the thing, which is like making him sh- like shifting him to a different dimension, him not keeping the promise. And I'll also keep an eye out on that, uh, the, the room, his room, you know, is that room really something that is exceptional? Like uh, that is like, uh, like, you know, not, uh, it's like uh, exempt from the whole uh, di- di- like traveling into parallel, dim- uh, parallel world thing. Like that room is the only exception. It, it stays the same. I'm also c- going to keep an eye out on that as well. Because these are the two things that is really bugging me. That, that room and the promise, you know, uh, why he is getting like, uh, uh, you know transferred into a parallel world so yeah I really am like extremely interested in this show like this is I never expected something like this this is like a real joy I have to say and I'm glad that I started reacting to this like, this is uh, something that I would probably even after I finished it I would probably never forget like this is unique in so different like way so yeah and I'm, I'm definitely going to talk about this after obviously after this show ends I'm definitely going to like recommend this to a lot of my friends like you know who like watch animes like this is like one of a kind show and like I love it and this would probably like be in one of my top like you know rankings of animes if like this if this goes, gets even better this will definitely be in one of my top like you know top 10 anime list and 
yeah like i'm loving this this is something that i never expected and yeah so yeah that was it like he messed i think he messed up somehow again in this episode either he did not keep the promise that's the reason why he's transferring or something else but the main thing is he somehow did not like you know choose the correct path choose the correct answer so that's why he is getting you, you, you know like transferred into like another like parallel world i'm guessing like like you know like uh the thing that uh, another thing that is curious is like when he says that okay let me like watch that movie he sits down and watches that movie and like in the movie is like ozu and him like in that movie acting as like the hero and heroine and um then uh, like he says that keep it to yourself you know and the in the movie the two of them like look at him uh, like watching the movie you know and there's like a window frame like he's watching the movie and he, the the like you know the characters in the movie got got like you know self uh, what do you call it self uh, aware self aware and like looked at the like fourth wall like fourth wall breaking and he looks at the like person who's watching them and then it like like you know kind of like vanishes the whole window thing and then we see a clock the clock this is written six you know and uh, the hand of the clock it starts rotating and like the whole thing gets reversed rewinded and i'm guessing he goes back so maybe this is not a parallel world okay i might be wrong you know i might be wrong it's not a parallel world but it's like reversal of time you know and like him like making a different decision i think that is it like it's not that he's transferring into a parallel world it's just that he like the time is reversing and he is taking a different like making a different choice you know because the way it starts is always the same he gets into this place and there are so many clubs and he chooses a club in the first episode he chose the tennis club in this episode he chose the movie club maybe he'll take a different decision in the next episode so this is not a parallel world it's kind of a parallel world at the same time because you know because there's a choice which is acting as a focal point and due to the choice due to him taking different choices it branches into different paths so yeah it is a parallel world technically but he is going back like his time is reversing and he's going back to that choice multiple times you know it's not that he's transferring from one parallel world to another you know like like here is the like the focal point and then the like three paths if he's here it's not that he's jumping from one like parallel world to another this is not happening he's getting reversed into time he's in the same path and he's getting reversed into the choice where he chooses another like you know way and the world branches again and he gets into another parallel world and if he messes up here again he's going to get like re reverse timed again and he's going to come to the choice again and he's probably going to choose another route which will go like this direction or something so that is what maybe is actually happening you know so it's technically a parallel world but it's not at the same time because he's taking the choice and like his time is getting reversed so something like that like, these are all my guesses you know i'm sure like we'll get more hints and more clues in the upcoming episodes so i'm looking forward to that so thank you guys for watching this was tatami galaxy episode number two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely be checking them out but no spoilers because i really want to like figure everything out and so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tatami galaxy so until then goodbye and have a nice day